Cheers. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Welcome to Bucharest. Bucharest. And you gotta say it. I'm just. Good morning. If you haven't already hit that like, subscribe, and share button, uh, we are in Bucharest today and we're excited. So you better subscribe already because today I feel like I'm going to what is going to be my favorite place in the world. We're going to the mountains of Romania and we are checking out Dracula's castle. Brand castle, the one and only. We are doing that today. We are waiting for our tour guide who is picking us up in a blue minivan. His name is Bogdan. Bogdan is about to pick us up in a blue minivan and we're about to go and I'm in Bucharest because I messed up. There's no reason to be in Bucharest. There's no reason at all to be in Bucharest right now. Let's There's no reason to be in uh, Bucharest at all that's what my uber driver told me as well this is the capital but it is not the most beautiful place in romania we are going there it's in the mountains so we should have flown into brasov and then did the brasov apparently is beautiful and then done the tour from there because it's closer but now we're in bucharest which is a whole two hours and at two and a half hours away so do your research before you travel but hey I did some things around Bucharest. I got, I had a dope Uber driver from the airport to the hotel. Told me about all the shit going on in Romania, from the soccer teams to the politicians to where they are now. But hey, listen, we love it. Wow, as a tourist, we love it because you know the Rhone, the Lou, the the money they use. Pff, it ain't. I'm about to. I, I might be the richest person in Bucharest right now, and I'm broke. This right here is Pilis Castle. I don't even know if I'm pronouncing that right. Pilis Castle. We're gonna let the tour guide take this over. Tell us about this place. This is just one of the stops. This isn't Dracula's Castle. We're, we're checking all those stuff. Your dumbass ever start recording just hotels, hotels, and think it's the castle? This is all. when we walked in. I was like, "Yo, this castle be crazy." And then got one castle over there and one castle over there. I didn't even. Your dumbass ever record nice hotels and be like, "Damn, look at this castle." Wow. Uh. And then we can like get pay to go inside as well. It, it's closed oh. Monday and Tuesday. Oh, okay, okay. Unfortunately, it's closed Monday. Yeah. Okay. It's closed on Mondays and Tuesdays, and they don't tell you that. They get you buying your tickets. They get you up here, and they say, "Look at the outside." Uh, 
the last one actually for Big Ben over here. Michael the first uh, has a scratch now. Uh, he was forced by the communist regime to leave the throne uh, in 1947 and came back to the country uh, when he was a bit too late. Uh, but there were a lot of events for him and he was going to put that over here. Let's get inside. They started building this uh, beauty in 1875 and uh, the entire thing was ready in 1914. This here is that courtyard. This is where you come when you're like, uh, this is in the movies, when they're just walking like this, hands behind their backs, and they're talking about, oh yeah, oh, so the, the Romans are uh, coming to get us, so what should we do about that? What's up, y'all? Nope, not Dracula's castle yet. We stopped in Brasov. And I'm gonna show you because I just took the tour of it and now I'm gonna try to restate everything I just learned. So this is Brashoff, right? Let me see. Spell B-R-A-S-O-B, Brashoff. And this right here, this is the gate. This is the gate to the city. So if you want to come in, to this in the old timey times that was the way in old timey time that's the gate to it now from what i believe brashoff some about war some about the germans came so the big german population it was the, the current president is from those german descendants that came to brashoff and then eventually the communists came into rule they fucked up a lot of shit. They, they, they said nah to a lot of shit. But now they, so here, that's the gate. That's what it, All right, this is the gate to the city. Now let's go into the city. This is the city right here. Right here, so it's like three layers of these houses. Boom, 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 right? And then this, right here, is the narrowest street. Cause let's say this house caught on fire, right? Say somebody got something in the stove and this house caught on fire, then they would have to grab water, run all the way down here. And by that time, it's probably too late. So this is actually what they did. Somebody from their house tore down a part of their house to make one of the narrowest streets in Romania. And then this statue right here, this nice lady is pointing. Now I don't know if this is most likely broken off, um, but this nice lady right here Right, she's pointing to the street. She's letting you know, hey, run through here and come help these people out. Cause they, you know, they left something on the stove and now the city burns. So now let's go down the street. Now, welcome to the black church named the black church and I'll tell you why in a second but check it out that's a black church right here built around 
1300, 1400, right? So you can see all the little holes in the bricks that they used, you know, to help stack the bricks on top of that. See all that, right? So, so this was first built as a Catholic church until a man came, this man, Juan Toros, this dude, right? He comes up. So this man, he comes here and he goes, now nah, we don't gotta be praying to walls. Don't be praying to paintings. You know what, the priests, they ain't God, they human. You don't gotta be praying to them. So Mr. Protestant right here, said, you know what, school should be outside of the church too. They got, you can have school in the church, but you need, we need to be teaching more than religion. So what he is actually pointing at, this statue, is the first high school in Brasov, and it is still a high school to this day. It's still a high school. But thanks to that dude, he brought some, so that changed a lot. Oh, and so, you know, where the Catholic Church turned into, I'm gonna step in the light. Where the Catholic Church, right, turned into a Protestant church, and then it got named the Black Church because it got burned down. It got set on fire, I think by maybe the Austrians as this message like, hey, what are you doing? So it got burnt and then part of the roof fell in and it burned for days inside and so black smoke up against it. we're gonna go inside and see it's not that dark but that's why it's named the black church because it got burnt down inside roof is in there billowing smoke up against the walls made it the black church all right so don't worry it's not it's not like it's not like a black church like we know today where they're just up on their feet dancing and singing and hallelujah your lord hallelujah not that but It's getting black. It's not that black anymore. Well, hey, it is now. Go and check out the collection plate. Just drop your money down here. Yeah. Go see Dracula at his castle. I didn't bring no garlic, so I'm gonna have to get some of this uh, holy water. Sprinkle, sprinkle on his face. Yeah, so a really cool thing is if you didn't read that, that, that this church has one of the world's biggest collections of Muslim rugs. Because, you know, Ottoman Empire and the Transylvania's trades. So, if you didn't read all that, pretty much what you're looking at is old dead guys. A lot of old dead dudes. Because, you know, they prefer to be buried here. I'll read it for you. They prefer to be buried in the church or nearby. So after they would remain in the immediate vicinity of Eucharist in order to ensure their salvation. So, old dead dude, boom, he's in there. And a lot, there's a lot more bodies, but some were taken out. Hygiene, but only the prettiest ones, like, got to stay. So this dude, look at that dude. That dude has some money. That dude has some money, man. And he's dead, he's right there, right there. Yo, when the Romanian zombies come, don't be in the black church. Get out.
Welcome to Advice Square. This is Advice Square. This is, cause that's, that's like Town Hall. I'll be like Town Hall right there, right? You come from down in your respected house, everybody meeting the square. I'll be in Town Hall, right? You get your Starbucks, and then you watch an execution. Cause this is where the, you know, that's, this is the, this is my exciting, cause you see the movies where they execute somebody. And now I, like I'm standing where that would have happened. This is where they would execute people. And you know, so, so you go get your Starbucks. So back in old timey times, you go get some Starbucks and then you would come, you sip on your, your latte, your pumpkin spice, watch somebody get beheaded. So, but uh, here you could pay, if you had money, you could pay for a better way to die. So if you was poor, you was getting like the dollist knife, like multiple, you know, stabs. If you were, but if you were really rich, then you could pay for a sword, right? So people get beheaded, uh, hung. But if you were really rich, then you could pay to get a sword. And on the sword, it would say something like, "What well, it said? It said, ah, I just, I just knew it. I just, it said." This sword can guarantee you a better afterlife. Like this guarantees you heaven. Yeah, this sword guarantees you it, on the sword. If they pay for money. To, it said, "Yo, you you get you're gonna die, but at least you get to go to heaven because this sword be like that." That's what it, it said that verbatim. So without further ado, we are now at Brand Castle. Okay. Don't worry, we're getting there. We're waiting for the rest of the group. We're waiting for the rest of the group. Walk up the hill. <laughs> Yo, I can't believe I'm here right now, man. I saw, I was like, man, I wanna go to this. I like looked on the map, I was like, that's a place? They actually got Dracula's castle, that's a real place? I'm going, and now I'm here. Yo, think it, believe it. You're, I, I'm actually at the base of it. I'm about to walk up that hill. God damn, that's scary. Oh, shit, son. That's just, that's just the back of the castle. Don't worry about going inside. Up, up the spooky stairs.
there. Tunnel. You used to use this tight. Don't turn around. It's too tight. Watch. Watch out. Yo, my tuba guy said that that lady was gonna come out and scare me. She didn't. She didn't scare me. I didn't get scared. You saw the bed, right? They put people in there, close it. Scare you right, but she just sitting there on her phone, texting a grandchild. Don't forget about my birthday. She didn't scare me, but it's okay. We're moving on. Because we got another ticket to the tunnel. Where'd I put it? Right here. Ticket. We're going to the tunnel in Pool. So, you know that's going to be. That's, that's gotta be the this has gotta be the spot. Look at this. So, so, to the tunnels.
tunnels. Um, it was just, this is where Dracula, this is where he was at. This is where Dracula did his thing, man. This is where he slept, this is where he ate, this is where he slept. Get up down here in the tunnels. But now we got videos and you know, push up. But look at that. Now, now it's touristy, right? Now we got videos. tunnel there. Robadia is very lucky that everything is so cheap because that's a tunnel. I think he's behind there. Man. Ah. Like, don't go in that door. Dracula is behind this door. Dracula is behind this door. That's it. Just in time for my camera to die. That's Brand Castle, everybody. We done made it. Ooh, Dracula, he didn't bite me. Felt right at home. Ah, I be sucking so. Yo, that was it. There it is, Brand Castle. You can see it, it looks good. We made it, wow.